Hey, I'm in this video, I'm going to show you how to create resizable and reusable uh, breadcrumbs in Figma using auto layout. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create a title for our breadcrumb, which is going to be the current page or current web screen that we are already in. So I'm going to just uh, hit T on the keyboard, type something like um, um, user profile. The font family is work size, which is good. Then I want to set the font size to somewhere around 24 and font weight to um, medium. Okay. Or maybe let's boost it up to 500. Okay. Now uh, we need to create the uh, actual breadcrumb itself using auto layout. So in order to do that, I'm again, I'm just gonna uh, hit T on the keyboard, um, type like something like home, which is the um, base of our uh, website. I'm gonna reduce the font width to regular and then change the font size to 12. Also, um, let me align it to the, um, next to the, to the title. And yeah, that looks good. And notice that this is a link which is clickable because uh, it is the base of the uh, website. And for now, we are in outside the outside of this uh, web page. Uh, we are in user profile. So let me uh, create other two pages as well. I'm just gonna duplicate this one, or maybe just uh, use auto layout <clears throat> from here. It's straightforward. Control Z. Uh, let's yeah, three pixel is fine. Let's uh, click on this and um, select them both. I'm gonna hit Shift A or click here, Shift here, sh Shift A, and now set the alignment of paddings to left, center left actually. And now, um, if I click on these and uh, select both of them, I'm duplicate them. You can see I can um, create more text and chevrons and basically just rename them so this is home this can be users let's say we are in the admin um, CRM and we are gonna you know a user management system we wanna from home we we want to access users then we want to access one individual user profile and, and you know edit them edit that profile and now what I'm gonna do again um, select this one another one Command D or Control D just to duplicate, and now again move it and drag it over here. And I'm going to delete these um, last one. Actually, we just wanted to create um, du duplicate this one. I'm going to rename this to User Profile. Okay, uh, the breadcrumb is almost ready. Let me rename this to Breadcrumb Navigation. So just because we are already in this page in user profile and title is this basically the same as the last uh, element. Uh, so this text is disabled, uh, just a plain text. We cannot edit, we cannot uh, access any other page from this link. Uh, basically it's not a link, it's just a text, right? But these two are text. So I'm gonna click on this one and this one. And it depends on your taste and how you want to style this one just to, you know, show there a link. Mostly I uh, design breadcrumbs in a, you know, in a narrow way, in, you know, less visible way. Uh, they are there, but, um, you know, they just have a, uh, you know, subtle um, style. So I'm just going to reduce the uh, black opacity to something like 16, 60. And for the active page, I'm going to reduce the opacity to 38, which obviously says that this text is disabled. You can, you know, do vice versa. Like these can be um, less visible and when user hovers on them, they can um, go full opacity. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to uh, leave, it, leave these uh, just like this. Okay, now how to make it reusable. I'm going to uh, click all, all of these, drag them into one group. 
then I'm gonna hit shift A again and now it is a new auto layout with rows and notice how automatically it um, detects the um, space between two of these elements which is obviously one I'm gonna just make it two pixels okay rename it to um, red chrome and now if I want to just edit uh, some of the let's say I'm gonna use this for another page like clients and cr client profile I'm just gonna edit this one client profile actually let's say client um, order management and I'm gonna just add some of the <clears throat> new pages here so let's edit this to clients then select this one duplicate them <clears throat> excuse me um, client profile and the last one can be like order management okay that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching guys um hit the bell notification and also make sure to like this video share your thoughts in the comment section below um and yeah hopefully i'm going to create more and more of these auto layout tutorial for figma and yeah stay tuned take care cheers